Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Yesaya the Christ. Yesaya the Messiah, Yesaya of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya and the biblical Christ, Yesaya, please watch the video in the description box in the pin comment section. Okay, brothers and sisters, we're continuing with our shout out top 20. I love to do this. It's not because... It's good that I'm getting to know brothers and sisters, but also it's to build up your spirit, to be anticipating, to be waiting, to be watchful, to be um, just on the vine for the return of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he is coming back. He is coming back and you should have that hope. Just as all you know, okay, Sister Karen is going to upload a video, notification is going to come through when dirty you, you send it through um, and you have that hope. So that is the same, not even the same, that is, that's the far surpass hope that you should have for the return of your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. So this is the top 20, brothers and sisters. Um, continue <coughs> to like, comment, and watch the video. And for those of you who do that, I do appreciate you. I thank you. Without you, these videos, they're just sat on you, you, the real world. But every video that does well and go out, every new brothers and sisters that join this channel, it's not me. It's you. Because it's you that literally smash the like button and do everything that you can so that brothers and sisters um, come to this channel. And I thank you very much, every one of you. A higher bless you. All right. Remember to press the notification. The, the subscribe button and press the bell and then all if you don't press the bell and all you won't get the notification all right top 20 brothers and sisters this is a video that i did concerning marcus rogers all right i did a video on him if you want to see that video i will leave it link in the description box uh, father god of creation all right lord all right so these are the first top 20 beautiful brothers and sisters in the most high in the vine eve new beginnings Blue I blue lily. I was gonna say blue ivy. Oh, that's a blue ivy. Sorry, darling. Blue lily. All right. Truth in a world of lies. Philomia Onuma. Esther Jean. Anna Sanders. Lily Mensa. Kiwana Depp. Adiola sings all things made new yas daughter Erica Latimore Blessed Queen 53 Istro Beats Marie Marin um, David Capal Tania Sithol. Where did I go? I've been over here. Three. Okay. Bridget Hypolate. Jereen Smith. Sally Grace. Hallelujah. These are the first 20 beautiful brothers and sisters that made it. <laughs> for top 20 if you want to if you want to shout out you just have to try and make it in the top 20 if not you know just continue to like comment the videos because i'm there anyways in the comment section liking up your video giving you a little love and stuff like that all right brothers and sisters okay all right so we are continuing with our theme banner we are near we are near not only to the return of yesaya but also to the revealing of the antichrist and the lawlessness of sin because that is coming up sin will be exaggerated on a worldwide scale never ever seen before brothers and sisters and we are very close to that period so we have to prepare ourselves we are near we have a prophetic theme song hallelujah that goes with our prophetic theme banner we are near it's a, it's a song that my mommy taught me when i was a little girl don't know no, nothing about new year's eve song okay and it's a song that's entitled we are near and it goes like this Oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now. 
Hallelujah. Yes, we are near. Hallelujah. And we can sing that song with confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, I want to come with this vision that the Lord gave me on the 17th of January, 2022. It's, a very, it's very short, but it's very powerful. Very short, but, but very powerful vision. Um, in this vision, brothers and sisters, I saw a lady, all right? And she was driving a black car, quite nice, shiny car, very spacious. And I remember, I don't know what the conversation that I was having with this woman, but I remember, I don't think I went in the car and sat, but I was on the passenger side and I bent over like that on the passenger side window. So I wasn't actually in the car. So the conversation shifted from what we were talking about and we began to speak about that. <laughs> I don't want to, we began to speak about that. All right. You know what that is. All right. So when we were talking about that, brothers and sisters, she got defenseful or defensive. That's it. She got defensive. And she was basically saying to me, look, there's nothing wrong with that. But I want to, I want to describe the way she was sitting. All right. Because something about her was not right. And I'll tell you what she was wearing. She was wearing a black jeans, um, those skinny, a skinny black jeans and the like a grayish, a grayish, almost black, but it was a completely black, black top. Um, you know, all dolled up. You know what I mean by dolled up, yeah? Face painted, everything. And it was a black lady. It was a black lady, black sister. And um, and she, her, her, her posture, she had her feet on the car seat. All right? So one feet was hanging down and then her feet on the car seat and the car, the back of the car was a little bit slant back. So she had that posture that she was giving to me and she was talking and like I said we began to mention that and she said to me there's nothing wrong with that she said I am a child of the most High. she said I'm a child of God I know his voice this is what she's saying to me she said I know his voice and I know when he speaks to me she said the Lord clearly came to me and he said to me that I should take this Listen very carefully because this vision is very important. She said that the Lord told her that she should take this because there's nothing wrong and she is doubled up. She said, I've taken two of that because the Most High gave me the instruction to take it because I'm a Christian and I know his voice. But she was singing on that. That was her theme. I know his voice. She made sure she rang that home to me. That I know his voice. Brothers and sisters, just our just our whole, I don't know, our whole aura, our whole composure. I knew that this woman was fake. Without the spirit of the Lord speaking. I'm going to tell you what the Lord says. That's why I want you to listen, because this is very, very important. The whole composure of this woman was fake. And I knew she was lying. I just knew in my spirit that something wasn't right in what she was saying. Now, when she says that the Lord God told her to go ahead and take that and nothing. This is what she says. She says that the Lord says that nothing is wrong with taking that. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. It was like I heard a voice coming out of the heavens. And the Lord began to speak. And the Lord says, I never told her that. That's what the Lord says. That was that's what Ahaya says. He said, I never told her that there are many people out there and I know a couple of people who say to me God says 
listen to me very carefully. They say, God says that I should have spoken to these people. And when I speak to them, the Lord said, I didn't tell them that. Because he's against it. He's not for it. Why would he tell some people to do it and others not to do it? And then leave some people in problem with the dirty pharaohs that have not have that. He's an unjust God, isn't it? He would be very unjust. Because if he's going to tell, say, five people, he's going to say to five people, if a higher is going to say to five people, okay, it's okay, go ahead and have that. And then the dirty Caesar is going to look at those five people and say, well done, well done, you've got that. Come on, you can go do this, you can do that. Nothing, you're not underneath none of the law. The next five people, the Lord says, oh, don't, 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 don't do that. The dirty Caesar says, well, because you haven't done that, you know, you can't follow us. He's not a hire of confusion. He's not going to tell one set of the body, of his body, go ahead and do that. And then tell another set, don't do that. No, that's, that's the devil. His stand, and I know his stand on this is wicked. He says it's wicked. He's never, ever, ever anybody. And this is why I'm, I'm so glad I had this vision. Because anyone, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, this vision is serious because a lot of people are going to be judged but lying on the most high. Anyone who comes to you and tell you that the Lord, it's better for them to say, look, I've made my decision. It's me. I've chosen it. But anybody who comes to you and say to you that a higher whom they call God, the Lord, or whatever, that higher that God told them that they should go and have that, and it's absolutely fine. It's a wicked lie. The Lord said, I never told them that. He never did it. It's not him. Holy Spirit does not behave himself unseemingly. <laughs> it's not him, brothers and sisters. That's their own imagination. But a lot of people are going to be in a lot of trouble for lying on the most high. You don't lie on the Lord and get away with it. Like I said, it's better for you to say, you know what? It was my own decision. I Because you can make up your own mind. You have your free will. You have your free will. So it's better for people to say, you know what? That was my decision. Rather than lying on the Lord and saying that the Lord told them. To go and have that. Ahaya never said that. The vision is true. And look at the woman. She said to me she's a you know, Christian. She's, she's a child of the Lord. She's a child of the Most High. She knows. That's what she said. She said, I know his voice. She said. She keep on stressing that. I know his voice. He told me to take that. And nothing is wrong. And then the voice of the Lord came out of the heavens. And he spoke and said, I never told her said, I never told her to do that. Many people are going to be in trouble for lying on the Lord. Because you see, that is many so-called Christian excuses. They said that the Lord told them to do it. He's never going to... Look, that, you can see me with my little, um, what is it, prop, my little prop. That is a foreshadow of the 666 to come so if that's a foreshadow of the 666 why would the lord tell you to go do that and that's how they're gonna land the lord same way but well, the lord told me to go have the mark that's what they're gonna say i heard the voice of the lord he said that i should go and have the little thing in me and in me right in my forehead and also they're gonna lie on him same way because they want to save their lives the vision is true just look at the woman that i described that is not the true church Her mannerism, her attire, everything about her was wicked. Everything. Her posture. She wasn't humble. And I was trying to explain to her that <laughs> that, that is wicked. She wouldn't have it. She said, no. She said, it's not. She said, the Lord told me to go and have it and it's okay. 
many people would be in trouble. Many, many born again. This is the reason why on this channel I urge brothers and sisters, listen, if you have that already in your system, just ask the most high for forgiveness. It's a, <laughs> you having that, it eventually goes out your system apparently in terms of the so-called protect that it does. But it's not meant to protect you. No. If you if you really believe for one second, if you really and truly believe for one split second that this is given to protect you, you're in deception. This is given for I am legend. Work it out from there. That's what it's for. You know the Will Smith movie, I am legend? Yeah, that's what it's for. Never, ever, 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 never, never, never was it given for protect. It was never. That's just a cliche. It was given for Will Smith movie, I am legend. Prayer is, is, is very, very important. And I urge, I, I truly, truly, truly urge anybody, anyone, anyone, if you've done that already, please just repent. That's all it is. Just repent and ask the most high for forgiveness. That's all. He will forgive you. I promise it will. Because he's loving like that. He's beautiful like that. He's compassionate like that. He's all ears. He will hear you. And he will, he will cleanse you. And he will forgive you. Don't wait until... What, what I don't want. What, what is my... It's not fear really. But it's my... I don't know what to call it. Um, my issue... My issue is, I don't want you to be in a position, though I'm talking to those of you who have got that, I don't want you to be in a position where the only time you, you, you choose to ask the Lord to forgive you is when you start to see the signs in the people, when you start to see the, some of the horrific manifestation because of that and then you begin to ask the lord for forgiveness don't do that do it now while you can because when the manifestation starts it's going to be quick and some people won't have the mental capacity to ask the lord for forgiveness so you have the capacity now you have it now you have your senses everything going it's all good so while you can you must repent. Because if you don't repent, the, the egg is going to hatch inside. You don't want that. The cockatrice egg will hatch. I've done a very powerful video about that. Even though you, you suppress that video. But I've done, I'm going to leave it linked if I remember. You don't want that. You don't want the hatching inside of you, brothers and sisters. So you have to repent while you have time. All right? Okay, so anybody who comes to me and tell me that the Most High, Ahaya, told them that it is okay to repent for that. <laughs> They're in deception. It's not him. He's against it. Big time. He's against it. Because it's a foreshadow. It's a, it's, a, it's a precursor for Revelation 13. And if it's a precursor for Revelation 13, the Lord is not going to tell you to have it. I'm going to finish now, but I just want to bring common sense to you. Okay? I just want to bring common sense. 
The Most High has given us our own natural immunity. Now, if he's given us our own natural immunity, and the dirty Caesars, the ferotic Herods, the Herods are saying that, oh, you know, oh, Mike, run. The new one that's on the block, the new kid that's on the block from the divorce. If they're saying, oh, it's mild, you know, it's mild, it's not going to, whatever they're saying. Then why would the Lord tell you to go and, and have that when your own immunity can sort it out? The Lord knows. He knows your immunity. He knows it. He knows it. He knows that it can sort out majority of things, including this that's going around. So he's not going to tell you to extra up, extra up like that, brothers and sisters. And don't, I'm not going to even mention that. I want to mention something, but I'm going to leave it for another time. You have to be very careful. And you have to begin to pray. You must begin to pray and ask the Lord for forgiveness, brothers and sisters, because he loves you. He really does, all right? So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high Ahaya who lives above the heavens. Ahaya eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In yes, highest holy name. Amen and amen. Let's say the benediction together. It's Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise, yes, Haya, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen, blessings. Amen.